Hi everyone, my name is Mehmood Sheikh and from past few videos I have been working on developing a Dance Academy website using PHP, MySQL, JavaScript and Bootstrap framework. In my last video, I completed the functionality of restricting unauthorized user from accessing our private pages. And I also discuss about creating this settings drop down and also displaying login and register links on appropriate pages and now in this video i will discuss about designing admin dashboard instructor dashboard and student dashboard okay so before starting this video i just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so now let us start our discussion on developing the feature of designing dashboards of different types of users okay so here now you can see i have opened my already completed project so here this is the dashboard of an admin similar kind of dashboards we have for instructor and for an student as well so this type of dashboards we will be going to create in this video okay so now let's minimize this okay so now this is my current project which i am working on this tutorial series so now i will log in as an admin now when i click on login you will see nothing is displaying so now i need to first design the sidebar of an admin dashboard and then i have to come to uh, designing the right section of an admin dashboard so to do that first i need to go to the editor so here is my sublime editor and uh, I have created a folder with a name as sidebar. So in our application as you guys already know that there will be three different users admin, instructor and a student. So these three different users will have different design and different options present in their sidebars. That's why what I have did is I have created three different files and the first file is admin sidebar, second is instructor sidebar and then third one is student sidebar. So I will be writing down the code related to these different users in these three files. Okay. So now let us first develop the design or the sidebar for an admin. Okay. So here my admin sidebar PHP file is open. So now first I need to create a div with a class of sidebar list okay so this uh, and then i have an anchor tag uh, which is uh, pointing to admin dashboard php file and here i have given the page equals to dashboard with a class of name item and name dashboard and in that i have created a span with a class of icon field with a little bit of additional css and uh, i have given it a title as admin dashboard and here I am displaying the username of the logged in user and I am getting that details from the session ok next then I have created one more anchor tag uh, with the file name pointing to dance categories php file ok and the class is new item new dance categories and inside this I have created a span with a class of icon field and a font awesome icon which is plus icon and I have given this menu item a name as dance categories and similarly I will I will create one more anchor tag uh, where the file is pointing to create dance PHP file okay and a span with the label as dance forms okay and uh, I have created one more anchor tag which will be pointing to instructors PHP file and a label as instructors and then I have created an another anchor tag which will be pointing to students PHP file with a label as students and then I have an another anchor tag with a label as enrolled students so this anchor tag is pointing to enrolled students php file so these are various menu items available under admin sidebar ok 
okay so now let's save it first i need to include this file in my admin dashboard file okay so here i'm inside the container div and here i'm creating a three column div and in that three column div i have included the admin sidebar php file which is present under sidebar folder and i have created one more div with a nine column where i will be displaying various figures like number of students number of courses number of categories all those things okay so now let's refresh see now you can see all the menu items started displaying okay so i have given few styling to create this kind of menu item okay so for that i need to go to the style file so here you can see this is the styling css code which i have written to design a menu like this okay so you can see the styling here and you can use this styling in your project okay now the next thing which we need to work is the right part or right section of the admin dashboard so now let's come back to our admin dashboard php file so this is the place where we need to start writing down the code okay so here you can see i have created a div with a class of admin with additional css inline css styling and inside that i have created a div with a class of instructors and a font awesome icons of users okay and there is a label uh, with a name as instructors and here inside this i will be showing the count of instructors uh, registered to this platform okay now let's save it and now when i refresh you can see uh, instructor section started displaying okay so here to display the instructor section like this i have again written some css which you can see here okay instructor there is an instructor class here okay so in, for instructor class i have written css here for instructor class there will be a students class enrolled class and dance forms class so these are the common css styling for each and every of these classes okay and then background different different backgrounds okay and then this much styling i have written to display the various sections like this on the admin dashboard next i will come back to admin dashboard okay so similar similarly i will create one more div with a class of students with a font awesome icon as graduation cap and a label as students and here also i will display the count of students and save it and now when i refresh you will see students section started displaying okay and similarly i will create a third section to display the enrolled details and the fourth section to display the dance form details save it okay and then here at the end i have written a jquery code so this jquery code is used to highlight or to make any of these menu item as active so now let's save it and let's refresh okay now you can see four sections started displaying okay so this is what an admin dashboard will look like okay so now similar to this admin dashboard now i will work on designing the instructor dashboard okay so now for that first i need to log out from the admin and now i will log in as an instructor okay so now i will click on login so now you can see i have logged in as an instructor you can clearly see here okay so let's come back here and similar to admin sidebar here i need to design the instructor sidebar so as i had already told you at the beginning that i had created an instructor sidebar php file and here also i have to create an anchor tag which will be pointing to the file instructor dashboard php file and a span which will have the label as instructor dashboard and i will be displaying the username of the instructor 
and I will take the details from the session and here I have created another anchor tag which will be calling to upload dance profile PHP file so this file I have created to design the feature of instructor profile upload and a span with a label as upload dance form okay so these are the two menu items I will be displaying under instructor sidebar page okay so now I need to include this file in my instructor dashboard PHP file okay so here I have created right now I am in my instructor dashboard file and I have created two sections first section is of column 3 and second section is of column 9 and in the first section I will call an instructor sidebar PHP file and save it and now when I refresh you will see two menu items started displaying along with the name of the logged in user and now similar to admin dashboard here also I need to design the right side section of instructor dashboard so to do that here I need to again come back to my instructor dashboard and here I have given a heading as dashboard using h3 and I have created a div with a class of jumbotron with some additional CSS inline CSS styling and then I have created a row now let's save it okay so now this kind of uh, uh, design started displaying and inside this row I have created a div with a class of column 4 and a p tag which contains the image tag okay so this image is like a default image so now let's save it and refresh okay now you can see a default image is displaying okay so whenever an instructor gets logged in uh, before an instructor uploading their profile image this default image will be displayed okay if an instructor want he or she can change their profile image okay and then here I have tried to get the username of the logged in instructor let's save it now you can see this is the name of the uh, logged in user Joseph Scarlett okay and then I have created one more div with a class of column 4 and in that I have created an unordered list with a class of list group this is bootstrap class okay and then I have created a list with these many classes so these classes are also from bootstrap framework and this list will have the information of age okay and the value of age will be displayed here okay so once the instructor uploaded their profile while uploading instructor will be giving these many information and once the instructor uploaded this information then those information will start displaying here okay then next is another list item for experience okay and then the third list item for gender and then the fourth list item for date of join okay let's refresh okay so this kind of design will display okay and then there is a fifth list item to display the address okay next after this second four column due I have created one more four column due with a with an unordered list of class list group skills okay and then a form with an action pointing to instructor dashboard PHP file with a method post okay, and then again a list item and a select drop down to display various names of dance okay and then a submit button and then finally a list item again okay now let's refresh okay so whenever an instructor gets logged in the sidebar and this right section bar will display so here once the instructor uploaded their profile 
the profile image started displaying and then these details will also start displaying and with this section what an instructor can do is instructor can add the skills like various dance forms how much of dance forms that instructor knows instructor can select those dance forms from this drop down and once the instructor click on add then one by one these dance forms started displaying below okay so this is what the dashboard of an instructor looks like so now uh, we will be doing the functionality of uploading the instructor profile in our upcoming videos okay so now in this video we will just restrict ourselves to design the basic design or appearance of an instructor dashboard okay so now we will move on ahead to complete the dashboard of a student okay so now let me just log out and now i will log in as a student but and now when i click on login then i will be taken to student dashboard okay so now i need to go to student sidebar here also i will be having some set of options for the student to perform okay an anchor tag which will be pointing to student dashboard php file and a class and then a span with a label of student dashboard and here also i will be taking the username from the session and then an one more anchor tag where the file will be pointing to upload student profile okay similar to instructor student profile uh, student can also upload their profile okay and then span upload dance profile and then one more anchor tag to allow the student to provide the feedback about this platform okay now these are the three options given to student okay okay yes now i need to include this file in my student dashboard php file so here as well i have created two sections first section is of three column and second section is of nine column in the first section of three column i have to include the student sidebar php file okay and now i will refresh now you can see those three menu items started displaying okay and on the right side i have created a dashboard header and a div with a class of jumbotron along with other css styling and then a row with two sections first section is of column 5 and second section is of column 7 in the first section similar to instructor dashboard here as well i i'm displaying the default image for student you can see and then the username of the logged in user yes and i have created an unordered list under seven column div a list item to display the age to display the gender okay and to display the date of joining and also to display the address okay so now let's refresh okay so whenever a student gets logged in this will be the dashboard of student where student can upload their profile and student can provide the feedback regarding this platform okay so these are three different dashboards okay dashboards of an admin dashboard of an instructor and dashboard of a student okay so in this video we have learned how to design dashboards of three different users based on their functionality i have designed three different dashboards with different different features okay so i hope you guys like this and i hope you guys understood what i did in this complete video so uh, this is the end of this video so now at the end of this video i just want to request you guys again if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and i will see you guys in my next video where i will be discussing about uh, uh, any other feature of this application okay so thanks for watching